Welcome to Cabela's Ultimate Adventures. If you're in the mood for some goose hunting, then this is the place to be. Casca Goose Lodge is located in the Hudson Bay area on Cape Patnam near the mouth of the Cascatama River in northern Manitoba. This unique area is world famous for its waterfowl hunting, but this is early season, so anything can happen. Cabela's Andy Hoban joins Norman McCrate of the All Canada Show, and they're in search of some early season waterfowl action. Much longer, and we'll be at the uh, Cas Casca Goose Lodge. We got one little flight left. Uh, we're going to go along the coast and hopefully see some polar bears along the way. And it should be a pretty good trek. It's been a long way, so. Well, after uh, we came into the lodge, got our stuff uh, kind of situated. Uh, Oh, everybody was, there was a few, there was another group of, of hunters that was in camp and, and uh, they'd had a pretty successful day. So uh, I was definitely excited to get out there and, and uh, see what it was all about. We're at Casca Goose Lodge, located in the northeast corner of uh, northern Manitoba. The lodge is located uh, 57 degrees north by 90 degrees west. We're primarily a snow goose hunting lodge but we also got some great hunting for Canada geese, a variety of ducks, and some uh, just great brook trout fishing that you'll find in the Cascatama River here uh, behind us where the lodge is situated. Well, I've been with the All Canada Show for 28 years, and uh, my main purpose down there is I do seminars. I do a fishing seminar as well as a hunting one. And now I do over 100 seminars a year down in the States, as well as some parts of Canada. A lot of them obviously with the All Canada Show and some deer classics. And uh, I guess the best part of it is not only just, uh, you know, trying to help people understand the outdoors, but I get to talk to them too and get the feedback, and I really enjoy that. I'm used to hunting cornfields and, and pits and, and things like that. This was a little different experience and I could tell it was going to be a lot of fun. I, I've never, I've never uh, experienced a helicopter ride to, to the place that you're going to go goose hunting, so that was quite the experience or, or plan at that point. Uh, we're out here at uh, what they call the uh, Aqua Tang. Um, we flew in on a helicopter this morning. Uh, there's an area here, there's goose tracks everywhere, so we're expecting uh, good things today and, and uh, we should get a pretty good outcome. There's a lot of geese flying around, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully uh, we get some birds uh, moving in on us. Here they come. Oh, they're lining up. Here they come. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'll let you go first. Take them now. You're going to go. Are you ready? Oh, you got yours nice. You got one. <laughs> nice shot. For me to be able to 
come up to the Hudson Bay area and, and spend time at the Casca Goose Lodge. Uh, it, it's, it's been a, ph a phenomenal treat. Um, I was able to see polar bear, uh, lots of geese flying around. Um, we seen the northern lights one evening. We were here, uh, black bear. It's, it's, a, it's a great experience. When I came up, I was totally surprised at what Randy has done here. Uh, him and his wife, Bev, they've rebuilt it. They got some lovely cottages here. They got some main camps. They got the helicopter here. It'll take you anywhere, anytime. And there's so much to see. I mean, yeah, you're gonna go shoot lots of birds, but there's a lot of history here and there's polar bears and black bears and all sorts of migratory birds. It's just a whole package that they put together here that's just awesome. Well, uh, we've got a little bit of fog this morning, uh, so it's kind of set us back uh, an hour or two. We're uh, heading out to the airport. Um, there's evidently uh, some geese flying around, working around over there. Uh, so we're hoping for the best right now. I see nice him. Too. Real nice. I see him. He's really low. Oh, here he comes. Oh, nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to reach up and grab him. <laughs> we got set in, the birds started flying, and uh, we started taking some birds down, and we could see that they were really starting to, to come into a, uh, another direction. So we quickly just moved around. Once we got it set up, then we started really pounding the birds. And uh, we had about five hours of steady uh, action, and it was just awesome. I'm gonna pound him on the right, see if he comes a little closer. You say when. Uh, right now. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> right on, man. I love that one. Well, we've uh, had an excellent hunt this morning. Uh, we're getting a little bit of rain coming down on us now. Uh, the geese uh, have a tendency to kind of sit down and hunker down for a while, so we'll see what happens. But uh, we're testing out the uh, Cold Bay uh, Synergy Series, Waterfowl Series uh, today, and uh, it's getting put to the test, so. I'll take on the right. Okay, rock him! Whoa! All right. <laughs> Man, if I had my plug out, <laughs> I've got two more. Take them to yours. Perfect All shot, right. nice corner, Andy. I thought he was gonna get away from me for a second. I know, but he went down. I wanted to scare him once real Downtown. quick. Downtown, downtown. Oh man. You come up here in, in the sub Arctic and, and the areas like this, the weather's coming off Hudson Bay, it changes maybe four or five times a day. So you have to be really adaptable. You gotta have good rain gear to change on and off. It gets sunny, it gets sunny. And uh, it, it's something you have to really consider when you're coming up to Canada, the changes that we're gonna have in the weather. <laughs>